by its rod and this one's called Jesus Stops Fear. You gotta see Jesus like a crossing guard and you're a little kid. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid. Trust in me. So I'm trying to teach something about how Jesus can stop our fear. Well, when we have faith in ourselves or trust in ourselves, we start to be afraid. I got lots of problems beyond my control. I can be afraid all the time if I want to be. But if I believe that I got a best friend, Jesus helping me, king of the universe, I don't have to be afraid. That's what we believe about Jesus. Satan tries to get us to believe lies about Jesus and be afraid. <laughs> Jesus wants us to believe the truth about him and have perfect peace. Jesus stops fear. We need to build our faith in Jesus' truth. It's like we could think about a million things today if we want to. There's some most important things to think about if we want to think about them. Jesus controls it all. Jesus can make me happy now. If you start thinking those things instead of how bad is the world today on the news or something. You start to feel peaceful. You start to feel joyful. I gotta have these meditations like the top five and just think about them. Some of my top five truth meditations are Jesus wants to take all my sins away and fill me with joy and peace. I can have an awesome, joy-filled time with Jesus right now. What's best to do now, Jesus? That's one of my favorites, because if you're making Jesus happy, if you're obeying Jesus, he's making you happy with spiritual joy and peace. <laughs> like making truth teachings like this. Jesus stops fear. I don't know what I'm going to be teaching on here. i got a few points or something. I'm trying to let Jesus do the truth teaching through me. What do you want to say about fear Jesus well there was a guy in the Bible who said help my unbelief Jesus well we better ask Jesus to help us to have faith in his truth looks like you gotta like write down a piece of paper the top five things to think about for happiness and success or abundant life or something and start meditating on them What's another of my top five truth meditations? I'm in a spiritual war with Satan, but Jesus can help me to win it. Or, and Jesus can help me to win it. What's another one? All I need is Jesus to be happy, or stuff like that. Jesus controls it and can work it out for my good. So, we need to say, help me to stop doubting Jesus. Help me to have faith. In your truth. Jesus wants us to read the Bible, teach us truth as we read it, meditate on the truth he's taught us, and then we use that as like a weapon against lies and Satan or whatever to win the spiritual war against Satan. We don't know what the truth is, we don't put our faith in it, we lose our war to Satan. We're full of fear and depression and anger if we're believing lies about Jesus. We gotta say like to Satan when he tries to put thoughts in our minds, oh, that's not true about Jesus. Don't believe that stuff. You don't need to read the Bible. Uh, don't pray. You just say, no, Satan, that is true. I'm going to believe that or whatever. I hear my sheep, hear my voice. I know it says Jesus. What do you say, Jesus? Ask Jesus questions. Get answers back. How loving are you, Jesus? How powerful are you, Jesus? Get an answer back. The Bible says if you lack wisdom about something, ask God for it. He'll give it to you. My sheep hear my voice. I speak to them. You need to hear Jesus say, I'm here. I love you. I'm your perfect problem solver. Don't be afraid of anything. You got to think of Jesus' technology. He's a thousand times more powerful than Satan or man's technology. Formed against us. They can stick 20 needles in my heart. Doesn't have to harm me. They can put me in a fiery furnace. I don't have to burn. They could kill me. And Jesus could raise me from the dead. Jesus could feed me in the desert for 40 years. Jesus could help me to handle wicked leaders in slavery like Daniel or Joseph. 
if my brothers are trying to murder me, I can escape it like Joseph. It's a very evil world, but Jesus is, can help us with all the problems on it. Nuclear blast. Safe with Jesus. If he wants us to die, we should die peacefully. If he wants us to live, we should live peacefully. I won't die until Jesus wants me to die, and he can help me through that. If they're going to guillotine me, he could take me out of my body just before the blade hits, or comfort me so much that you don't even feel it. I'm not going to die till Jesus wants me to die, and he'll help me through death like the Good Shepherd. Psalm 23. You have to believe Jesus is in control, and he can work it out for your good. Don't let it bother you. I control it, says Jesus. We're not supposed to be bothered by any of this. Look at the news. Oh, people murdering each other, that insane or something. Doesn't bother me. I don't care what other people are choosing to do. I just care about what I choose to do with Jesus myself. Can you understand that every suffering can Jesus can work it all out for good? All this judgment on the wicked people, Jesus can work it out for good. He's trying to save a few people from hell by letting a judgment hit them or something, like a sledgehammer. They won't wake up without it or something. So that's our job: is to try to. Tell people Jesus can give them abundant life. Jesus can save them when their world is crumbling around them in a tribulation or something. But it doesn't have to bother us. Jesus can make me full of joy in a tribulation. I can dance with Jesus around World War III if I want to. Had this vision of me dancing with Jesus around World War III and I look at him and he says, Don't let it bother you. I control it. I control it, says Jesus. You could think like you're a superman or a superwoman with super God Jesus living in you, king of the universe. I'm not trusting my muscles or my wisdom or my bank account or money. I'm trusting in Jesus' wisdom and muscles and money and bank account instead. And you got peace and joy. Your best friend, king of the universe, Jesus is here and uh, he helps you through it and brings good out of it for you. Even if... He wants you in a wheelchair, paralyzed neck down like Joni Erickson, or wants problems and sufferings like thorns in the flesh to humble you, which is good for you, like a Job experience or something. Jesus suffered and died to try to get close to us, to take all our sins away. Do you know how powerful the blood of Jesus is to take your sins away? Spotless. The righteousness of Jesus. It doesn't get any more righteous than that as a gift. So it's like uh, Jesus wants to say to us, I want to take all your sins away and fill you with love, joy, and peace. He wants to say, I like your suffering love for me. Suffering love gets the greatest rewards in heaven. We need to hear Jesus say stuff to us like he said to the disciples, Nothing shall harm you. You can have poison. You can ingest poison. It doesn't have to harm you. Through a vaccine, through a drink, whatever. Like I said, they can put 20 vaccines in my arm of satanic world empire poison. doesn't have to bother me. Jesus could just say a word and all your enemies disappear, turn to dust. They're not in control. Saints not in control. Jesus is in control. Jesus is here. There's nothing to fear. Jesus stops fear. Sometimes you have to be in suffering circumstances like slavery to Babylon, slavery to Egypt, slavery to a satanic world empire today. In Ontario, anyways. But if Jesus is with you, who cares? In the lion's den with Jesus, in the fiery furnace with Jesus, in the prison with Jesus, or whatever. It's not about getting the guns out and knives and trying to protect yourself. Jesus is my protection. Sometimes you have to think like uh, I got perfect bodyguards. I got the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and angels surrounding me all the time and they never sleep. Nothing harms me unless Jesus wants to allow some suffering in my life. And then he works it all out for my good. You're not afraid of this stuff. 
You believe Jesus perfectly made your body the way you wanted to, and he perfectly takes care of you. You have to believe Jesus is my perfect caregiver. I don't care if I'm 10 months old or 100 years old. Jesus is taking care of me, not me, not my mother, not the government. Jesus could send 10 helpers anytime. Jesus could give you a trillion dollars anytime. There's nothing too difficult for Jesus to do. If you believe in Jesus, you can stop your fears. If you don't believe in Jesus, you'll be full of fear. Our emotions create, our beliefs create our emotions. Our emotions reveal our beliefs. If I got love, joy, and peace, I'm believing the truth of Jesus. I got fear, depression, anger, and I believe in the lies of Satan. And that's my free will choice. I don't have to believe those lies. I can believe what the Word says. I can believe what Jesus is telling me. Not just me reading some words out of a Bible. It's Jesus teaching me truth as I read it. And I am deciding, do I have faith in what Jesus is telling me? Through the Word and through the Spirit? Or not? And my emotions reveal it. So you want to keep Say, Jesus, help me have faith in your truth until your emotions start to get filled with joy and peace and love and stuff like that. You have to believe Jesus is a thousand times more loving than the most loving mother on earth. And you're his little baby. You're his little kid. you got to believe Jesus is perfect. He never makes a mistake. Jesus is like a perfect father, perfect mother, perfect husband, perfect friend always with you. You were made to have an awesome friendship relationship with Jesus and Him making you happy as you believe His truth and obey Him. You make Jesus happy, He makes you happy. Fills you with love, joy, and peace. Like it says in uh, Psalm 91, 10,000 people or whatever could be dead at your feet. Doesn't have to bother you. An Egyptian army can be chasing you to the right seat. It doesn't have to bother you. Jesus could drown them all, just like in the days of Noah. Jesus made it all. Jesus controls it all. Nice as sapphire uh, dropped dead at the apostles' feet. Jesus said about people trying to persecute him, You could have no power against me unless... My Father in Heaven gave it to you. He could just call down a thousand angels. You'd all turn to dust. Just like when he was raised from the dead. Everybody went to sleep. The Bible teaches, Be joyful always. That's like a command or something. Paul the Rat Fester Prison. Be joyful always. Praise Jesus when the day is. Can you understand what the scriptures say? Jesus is like a bridegroom rejoicing over his bride. That's how he feels about us he made who have faith in him. Let him clean us up with his blood. Make us a spotless bride in his eyes. When he sees him living at us, he gets excited. Whew. Jesus loves to see people believe in his truth and be full of joy. In Jesus' presence is a fullness of joy. You can have perfect peace trusting in Jesus. Jesus stops fear. Faith in Jesus stops fear. Doubt in Jesus creates fear. Trust in yourself creates fear. You're creating your own fear if you don't want to trust in Jesus. To give you perfect peace. No fear. Abundant life. Jesus came to give us abundant life emotions, love, joy, and peace. They're supernatural. It's not something I create through adrenaline or the body or something or physical pleasure. It's spiritual. Give me peace, Jesus. Give me joy, Jesus. Well, you got to believe my truth, Rod. Okay. Let's meditate on that. Build up the faith of the, your truth, then. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. The, we're in a spiritual war. Satan's trying to rob us of truth, rob us of good emotions, rob us of a great relationship with Jesus, rob us of letting Jesus do his will out through us, rob us of letting Jesus preach to people or do miracles through us, or make truth teaching videos about uh, Jesus stops fear. But the wicked constantly fear and get more in fear. The worst the judgments come on these wicked people, it's like this poverty, death, or whatever. The more they fear, the more evil they get. 
more demon filled they get. But Jesus can help us to handle the demon control world. You gotta think everybody on earth could be coming against you as your enemy, but if Jesus is with you, you win. Jesus always wins. And, uh, perfect father, perfect husband, perfect mother, perfect friend. You can have your awesome, joy filled time with Jesus right now, your best friend if you want. It's whether we want to believe the truth. Make Jesus your boss. One of my favorite uh, truth meditations is what's best to do now, Jesus? Sometimes they get a blank piece of paper, write some stuff down. Oh, that sounds like the best thing to do. Jesus, let's get busy doing it. You gotta hear his voice. You gotta follow him. You gotta do what he wants. Read the Bible, pray, learn truth, try to teach truth. Maybe create an abundant life church someday if there's a revival. You gotta believe that Jesus is like a perfect caregiver. Perfect problem solver. Whatever problems in my life, I've had problems for 62 years. Jesus can help me to handle them all. So far, at least. Trust in Jesus, not you. If you got fear, you're doing something wrong. You better crack that. Jesus can teach you how to get rid of fear. What's the scripture say? Something, I, I sought the Lord and He delivered me from all of my fears. Perfect love casts out fear. Fear not. You gotta believe Jesus awesomely loves you. There's nobody that loves us as much as Jesus does. A thousand times more loving than a perfect mother or something on earth. Suffered and died just because he wants to be close to us and wants to live in us and wants to be our best friend and help us to be successful and experience abundant life in this world. You're always safe with Jesus in a fiery furnace in a lion's den. In the desert for 40 years without any food. So we need to hear Jesus speak to us prophetically. Stuff like, uh, you're always safe with me. Be happy with me. Be peaceful with me. Trust in me. I'm always with you. I love you so much I suffered and died on a cross and tried to take your punishment for your sins. So we could have peace together now. Like an Adam before the fall. But it's up to us. We're in a spiritual world. We can believe Satan's lies like Adam and Eve, or we can believe Jesus' truth like Paul tried to do, or I've tried to do. And uh, we have to think about heaven to come to, that uh, our life does not consist just of the suffering earth experience or something. Well, we die as paradise forever. We might find a little paradise place here on earth now, but... Uh, Nothing will satisfy us like heaven. There's no fear in heaven. There's no pain or suffering in heaven. Just celebrating all the loving things we did on earth with Jesus forever there, like rewards or something. Suffering love awards. Suffering love gets the greatest rewards in heaven. Jesus wants to lead us to do suffering things. But he wants to give us the power to suffer successfully. And sometimes he wants to deliver miraculously. Sometimes he doesn't. He knows what's best. Whatever we're going through, it's the best thing for us. He works it all out for our good. So that's a bit about Jesus Stops Fear.